Today we're at the aquarium house tackling this cylinder right here. We're actually gonna fixture this out with a pondless waterfall, all kinds of cool stuff. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. You can see in the backyard we have huge stumps that we might lose over here. We have a lot of work to do, and everything that we put in the cylinder has to come in through this right here. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting, there's no doubt about that. We gotta pull out all the sand because we have to recess the aqua basin. Taking the sand out through here? All of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I'm going in. And a little surprise, there's all this filtration material here that we didn't expect. So we literally have to get the sand out, get this stuff out of here because that water basin is going to sit right on the floor. Plus we have to see where the pipes are so that we can maybe have an automatic water fill on this pond so that we won't have to keep on dragging the hose over and filling it up while it's going. Well, we found the pipes. Now the only problem is we don't know where they go. We have to figure that one out. We measured the opening and we have an inch of clearance. <laughs> That's about the way it usually works out. You can see we finally got the filtration stuff off. We've got the sand pushed out where the actual water basin is gonna go. We can see the floor of the aquarium, which is pretty cool. Good that that basin's gonna hopefully fit in here. We're not getting any push, anything more than we were hoping. So it's definitely not going to be the fix that we're looking for. We're going to have to get a fish tape or something that we could actually force its way through. This piping just is a little bit too soft. I think we will make it through one way or another. I don't know how long it's going to take to make that happen. But one thing I know, that pipe is going to end up in that other room. Well, we thought that the fish tape was going to be the fix to get the tube through because basically what we want to do is we want to run that tube through so that we have an automatic water flow so that it can fill this water basin. That way if the water basin gets too low, we don't have to go in and actually fill it up manually. I mean, it holds a lot of water, but it's going to have a lot of evaporation. So we need to get that tubing through the kind of tubing that was there for filtration before, but we can't get the fish tape through, which means that we won't be able to get the tubing through if we can't do it. So uh, we just keep on trying. This has to go in there. And if I saw this and Ed didn't tell me that he measured it, I would say there's zero chance this is fitting into there. I'm actually second guessing my measurements right now. Right now. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh no. It doesn't look like it's gonna fit. Can we measure it again? Pretty sure. Measure twice, cut once. Yeah, that's gonna be wild. We have 16 and three quarters of an inch. And this is how much? Double check. 16. We got three quarters of an inch, baby. <laughs> <laughs> try to feed it from this side. I think there's a 90 degree fitting at the very bottom underneath the tank and that's where he's hitting it is that 90 degree fitting that's closer to the tank. I can't get it past that 90. You can't get through where's the, the fish tank. No. You can't get through. <sighs> okay, I have no idea what to do next. I don't see me. It looks like he's going down further. Yeah, he's going down really far. But... Oh, I hear it. I can feel it. Just keep on having to do that. Keep doing it. He's up against the moon. All right, we might have this. Success. <laughs> we got it. All right, awesome. So Ed, where are we at now? We got the, the water line through, so now what do we need to do? Get more of the sand in the buckets, get this cleaned out, and then we gotta get that big basin inside of here. Yeah, that big basin there. It's gonna fit inside there. Seems easy enough. Oh, look at that. It's like a billboard. All right, we got a light. Perfect, man. I, tell you what, I would have never thought that fit in here. That is crazy. Obviously, what we want is we don't want to see this at all, right? So what we'll do is we'll build up the sand a little bit, then we'll put rocks, plants, stuff like that. And Ed brought up a really good point. We want this to be a really cool water feature, but we don't want to block the view either. So we don't want to go too high with all the foliage. You're going to block the view of the outside. Move on to the next thing. Now this is the fun part when it starts looking cooler as we get it put together. Yes. We're at the point where we 
we have to basically figure out what to cover this because you obviously don't want to see this basin from the actual thing. So we want to make it as natural as possible. Originally, Ed was thinking maybe rocks, but now I think maybe if we go with some sandbags just to fill space and then we cover it back up with all the black sand so we have this nice black kind of cascade right. and we come in with vegetation and we just load it up and have this nice green wash look to it, which is really going to make this pop. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So guess what? Another trip to Home Depot. Hey, uh, guys, can I get a ladder? There you go. He didn't say where. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was also looking at some of the stumps that we have, and maybe we'll lay one of those down inside of here, uh, kind of transition as well. But don't forget, I got a bunch of those small stumps too. Oh, in the back of my truck. I didn't even look at them. We should probably look at that. filter pack now we can actually pour sand on it and the sand will kind of look like a flow rather than having like tons more sand filling all the way up to the top and then ultimately we'll put a bunch of vegetation in here so it looks really natural so it's getting there it's going to be pretty cool see all this little holes coming through almost like wormholes what basically is happening is as we're pouring the sand in, it's going into this filter medium and you can see even when I go like this it's actually filtering down which means that we're gonna use a lot more sand so what we decided to do is kind of back off and put some what's it called geotextile so we're gonna put down a geotextile cloth that basically will keep the sand up so there'll still be sand down here it's no big deal we have to lift everything up put the sheet down and then we can pour sand on top of it so it doesn't drain down and make all this kind of stuff because that's what's gonna happen it's gonna just keep filtering through until that filter medium is completely filled up with this cloth we won't have that issue nice and tight Now that you got snagged up on it. Blue with the light colored wood, yeah. the really black sand, and then a little bit of that greenery. It's, it's yes. a good contrast yeah. on there. So basically where we're at now is that we have the sand kind of leveled up to the top of the basin. We have a little bit of driftwood. We have a little bit of greenage in here. Next thing is to, uh, what is the next thing? We got to get that monster piece cut and positioned. Yeah, let's do it. I position it around differently once we're in there, but my thought is to have this almost that like and kind of create like a little cave type thing right. and then we'll get water kind of bouncing around in this stuff a yeah, little. Yeah, yeah. Vegetation around the backside and then we just have that water kind of just... So I mean, beautiful, it's yeah. It's an incredible piece. It's oh got moss gosh. and lichen yeah, growing yeah, all yeah, over it. Really liking it. Next step, got the stump cut. We picked up some incredible plants over at Hobby Lobby. We got a really good mix of stuff, lots of different greens, lots of different textures, and then we threw in a little pop of color here and here. That's gonna make the difference. So what we wanna do is have that vibrant, lush look, but still allow access and visibility out into the backyard. That's gonna be the key to this incredible project. this further in order to get this one but let's get this next one in and I'll have a better idea. All right let's set the next one up. The 
main piece is in. We just finished screwing it together. So this is that beautiful piece of cedar that anchors the entire composition. Now what we have to do, finish doing the waterfall around it. And then we can start decorating with all those plants that we just picked up. to run out to the Raptarium because I had to do a few things and I came back and already looking so much better. The driftwood is in here. We've got plants over here. By the way, look at all these plants over here. I mean, this thing is going to be an absolute jungle, but it is looking so cool. And you got to remember, it looks awesome now, but once it's all like planted out, it's going to look even better. And then when the water feature is on, that's when it's really going to take life. We're not too far off. Definitely making some progress. showed up. Lori. Oh, don't even. What do you think so far? Is it like cooler, not as cold? Did that do a terrible job? No, actually, uh, <laughs> it looks good. I, I was very worried. You were worried? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it when you just do stuff without consulting me. No, it's going to be cool, right? thing are you going to do? What am I going to have to deal with and maintain? I'll be honest with you. This was my idea because Ed just wanted to do a stripper pole in there. And I said, that cannot happen. <gasps> that wouldn't work. We tried it at the party. It didn't go over well. <laughs> at right now is actually the water flow basically and what we're going to have is two actual water flows you see there's a valve that Ed is working on right now one of the water flows is going to come out right here and then flow this way here and the other one's going to come right out into this little reservoir here and flow this way so that there'll be actually like two streams coming out with that ball valve to see how much one side gets to compare it to the other side still a way to go a lot of detailed stuff but pretty soon we may actually see some water flowing so it is now dark outside. We've been working on this since the morning time. Still have a ways to go. I can't see the finish line in sight anytime soon. We are not leaving until this pondless waterfall is running. Well, we have the python, the hose here running in. We, that means we have water. Literally, this thing was like inches away from being too short. We are going to turn on the water right now, start to fill the water basin. But ultimately, we're going to be able to turn the water on and see how this thing actually goes. We still have a lot of planting and kind of finishing out, but we're definitely rounding the corner now, and it's looking absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead, turn the water on, and start filling this puppy up. Water is coming. A little leak. Well, what can you do? So lucky to have great friends like these guys to help me out. I mean, I appreciate again, not only Ed, I'm going to put again, like I said, link in the description, but also to follow Greg, the pond guy, Aquascape, all that type of stuff. Without these guys, I couldn't have made this happen. Check out this view of it right here. Ed, you've been in here for about, what, 10, 12 hours? <laughs> it seems like three days. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. We it's are we're getting close to water, right? We are getting really, really close. Down to those final little details. We're going to get a few more boulders in, and then I want to get the lights inside of here. Oh, the lights. The accent lights are what's going to make this thing pop all the time. But look at how cool it's like. It's like a scene out of a mountain. I'm actually more concerned about this one than I am with a lot of other bigger products because if there's a problem, I don't know how I'm going to get to it without ripping stuff out. Well, let's not hope there's not a problem. I'm that, yeah. It's going to work perfect. We are about to see the first waterfall go on right now. Ooh, that might, oh, that might be a little much. I need another ball though, which I don't have. I do like how it's fucking, yeah. Actually, that's not too bad. I don't really mind it. No, that one side was really high, but we got the valve there. I'm actually pretty good with that now. Look at how freaking awesome that is. That is so freaking cool. And it is completely done and looks absolutely wonderful. And now my favorite part of this event is how does Ed get out of here? Because he's literally stuck, can't put a ladder in there, can't put a bucket in there, he can't do anything. And so he's now taking his shoes and socks off so he can maybe stick like uh, Spider-Man on the side of the acrylic. This should be entertaining. Oh yeah. Oh, you got this. Got one, two, three. Oh, we got yeah. it. Yeah. Now ladder, I need a ladder. ladder. <laughs> get the ladder, get the ladder. <laughs> oh I think go the other way, other way. There we go. Ed, you did it. Ah, I've been freed. <laughs> Why is there a footprint on my, you're the man, dude. Love it, bro. Yes. Oh my God, this is absolutely amazing. It was oh. a, a lot of work, many, many hours from morning till late, late at night. It went well, but uh, hey, that's it. And this video is over. I don't want to look yeah. Yo. Is that crazy? Yo, it's so beautiful. Isn't it ridiculous? Oh my God. Literal Pete looks like a vignette of a rainforest. I know, it's just like you just took a little 
chunked out of it. Wow, Brian. It turned out good, right? That's a killer, man. That's so sick. You guys did a great job. Well, I didn't do much. I just handed rocks to Ted. Hey, that's something. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, when I pulled up last night, I thought a tree had fallen in the driveway. Oh, like, no. <laughs>